Your style and flavor make the city rock. They must say the season will come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that. Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that. Welcome, people. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone, to the coach's desk. We're here to do a quick one with um, the baller. Yeah, man. Um, as you can see, Terry McGee. So, go on, do it quickly. Just want to ask him a few questions here based on, on, on you know, what he thinks about um, his non-inclusion in this team. You know what I mean? And uh, what is happening over there in 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 Castle Pen? So big up to all the people that are early. This is a an an unusual live, right? Normally we're not on these time of the day. You know what I mean? So 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 big up to Chaddy W. Big up yourself. Um, Tenil, big up yourself, Tenil. They say you're the first. All right, welcome. Canadian Link, Jeremy and Allen. Big up yourself. Boss Thomas. Big up yourself. Tevar. Big up yourself, Tevar. All things, man. Yeah, man, so we await the ball. Of course, you know the thing, uh, Brian, what's, what's up? Brian, with day, I know we're going to talk to you generally, you know? Yeah, man, so um, basically, people, we just want to ask the ball a few questions, man. We're not staying long. You know what I mean? We're not staying long because you don't know. We understand We understand that the ball I never get included, right? And we got some, as a matter of fact, I'll be doing another video. Another video. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'll be doing another video after this one to talk of the things them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I want to talk of the things them. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, based on, on the squad that is out, we still believe that um, we can get the, the, the six points. Definitely, and uh, we do believe that <laughs> we do believe that the boys can still, you know, even though the magician not in the thing. Um, yeah, man, big people share up the live, share up the stream, share it up real quick and fast. Tyreek Maggie soon step in. <laughs> no, man, we now we now go there, sir. Brian, yeah, yeah, Brian, remember, say we know where I go on, you know, so we can't put the ball in our spot. And then, you know, we now ask the things them to make the baller be implicated. No. Mm -mm. Mark Chambers, big up yourself. The money. Without fight, you are nothing. All right, big up fresh. Big up yourself. This is not a trouble interview, man. We now we not stir up nothing at this time. No. Um <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Brian. We are going to deal with it the proper way, man. As we say, it's a quick thing. Nothing. Not... So if you have any questions, you can just, when we indicate, you can write on the questions. And if it is a question that I can uh, ask the baller, once it's not an implicated question, yeah, we can, you know, ask him what is the difference between him and his. All right. Um, cool. That's a good question to ask. Boss Thomas, I just reach. We're going to get a move from you, Pen. <laughs> uh, big up, Jairus. Chublin. 
Yes, yes, Rajit, this is live, live and direct, live and direct. Alex, so go on. This is live, people. Li- Tenil or Tanil, male or female. We don't know. We know Tenil always the boat on the stream. And I want to know if it's a male or female. I think it's a male still now. Maggie you need to um, get into the Bundesliga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, like up the stream, people. Like up the stream. Share up the stream. Coach Alwa, go and feel like that club there are style for the baller, you know. Better get a move to Boza side because that side they are priests. <laughs> Hey, you see when him answer them question, they're not going to understand really what I'm going. It's not what we think sometimes as fans, you know. You understand? It's not what we think as fans sometimes. But the ball, I'm going to answer the question. Twani, big up yourself. Um, the ball is here. Live and living color. So I'm going to add him to the thing right now. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Yeah, man, I've known already a long time, man. Tyree, Maggie, what's up? Manners, manners, and respect in general. Yeah, man, big up yourself, man. And thanks, you know, to pass through the coach's desk, you know? Yeah, man, no problem. Yeah, man, we appreciate it. Um, First thing, how is everything doing, um, going on? Um, everything is going good so far. I can't really complain, you yeah? mm. know? How, how was training um, today? Training was good, as usual. Mm-hmm. Never really do nothing much, but it was good. Okay, what 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 you refer to as not doing anything much? Um, because they know probably um, preseason different from in competition training. So that goes. Yes, you know, like during competition, you just always like after a game, you just always like, prepare for the next game. So you can't really over train or do too much intense training. Mm, you know, yeah, man. So, like just basically, I prepare for the game Saturday, but do they just like we we'll play? Um, two eight minutes with the goal them close, we mm. have the goal them close here. So, okay. Yeah, and then after that, the session did too much. All right, the people them said they want to see your face one if you remove the pullover. <laughs> no, you know why I'm on the pullover still yeah. because my ear kind of want when I get that ear cut. That's why. Oh, oh, oh I see yeah, it. See so it. No, All right, that's nothing. So, so Terry Maggie, the squad is out, the reggae boy squad, and we noticed that you weren't a part of that selection. Um. Did you get any information why you weren't included? Um, and no. how do you feel about not being included? Um, so first of all, I didn't get any information as to why I was um why I'm not why I've been excluded from the squad. Um because I got an e- I got an um email first saying that I was in, but mm-hmm. apparently it was sent to sent to more than um twenty four players, I think so. Oh. And after I got a message saying um, that I was, uh, unfortunately, I was not selected for the final 24. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there was no, like, explanation as to why I was um, I was left out or anything. Okay, okay. And normally, um, basically, that's not a, a thing that they do in terms of tell the players why they are left out. You, you have, any, have you ever heard from any other, other ballers who weren't selected um, that they were told why they weren't included? Um, you know, I never really have that type of conversation with any other player, okay. but I know that, um, like I can talk from me personally. Um, so it's the first time, like, it, but what happened this time is the first time I'm getting a message that unfortunately I was mm-hmm. not, um, included. Normally, I would, normally I would just, if I don't receive like my, you will receive an email and then you could, you, you can know by the email I received that if you're in or out, right? Right, right. Yeah, but so I got the email. The email was sent to me and my club and thing, and I was basically just waiting the the flight information, mm-hmm. and then I got the message saying um, that I was not included for this for these upcoming games. So it's the first time that is happening happening with me. Normally, if I'm not if I'm not included, I didn't get a message or anything. It's first time I'm getting a message. All right, cool. And I'm certain that, that um would have allowed you to feel a little bit down because, you know, I, I believe from the first message that you'd have gotten, you'd have been upbeat and, you know, getting your mindset ready to, 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 to play some ball, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. 
Yeah, so yeah, of course I'm getting the, the message like even when I got the message to be honest, I I read the message a couple of times so well, like I couldn't re- I, I was basically I was kinda shocked, you know. I didn't really expect to be um to be left out, to be honest. I didn't ex- expect that because I don't really see what I, I can't really say that say say what I want to say, but I just didn't really expect to be um, excluded. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Even seeing that I was just like getting into my rhythm and thing, getting right. confident and thing, you know. Yeah, so when I got the email, I was basic. I was just preparing, you know, to go and to do even better than what I've been I've been doing already. All right. So that the, the, this non inclusion would have probably um damp your confidence right now because a player of your um skill set level um booms on confidence. And as you said before, your confidence was was was, was lifting um, for the past few games. But no, this probably would have dampened it. But let us not belabor that point. Um, we, 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 a lot of your fans out here are, are not too pleased with, with, with you, your non-inclusion. But it is what it is. And I'm certain that you're still 100% behind the team, right? Yeah, of course. Without a doubt, man. Yeah, man. Cool. All right. So... In terms of being over there in Europe now, um, Tariq, in terms yeah. of the, the, the players over there, in terms of skill set, in terms of how they play, um, what, what's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference with here and... and yeah, and, with Jamaica, and, Jamaica. And, and in Europe right now, yeah. Um, there's a, there's a, for me, for what I've experienced, there's a couple of things I, I can say. Mm-hmm. First of all, if it's like football wise, like on the pitch, the players here are more disciplined. Okay. And they're not necessarily better. Mm-hmm. You know, but they're more disciplined, they're more serious about their job and they know the little details that they need to, to do to like to have a to have a good game per se. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you and, um the, the speed of play here is uh-huh. a lot quicker than in Jamaica. Okay. But I think the, the pitches here have a lot to do with that. The pitches here are way better and things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and and like off the field now, I think everything just comes down to professionalism, you know. I think and I think here they are willing to do a lot more for football than Jamaicans are willing to do for football. Okay. Can you talk yeah. a little bit about those fine details that you'd have observed? Um so so all right, I would say that the players here they mm-hmm. enjoy doing the simple things, you know, like you know, but obviously, you know, we as Jamaicans we are a lot there's a lot of skillful players and we like to express ourselves and mm-hmm, think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the, the players here they can do it, you know, but prop they, they can do it maybe not as well as us Jamaicans, but they, they can dribble a man or whatever, you know, but they just enjoy playing one and two touch football. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think that those that look those little details are are some of the things that even allow them to play even quicker than how we play. Okay. We like to stop the ball and maybe step over it two time and show mm-hmm. everybody that you really, really, really. Mm-hmm. they they know when and where to do it. To do that, and right. those little stuff, yeah. So they 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 mainly use those those sort of situation like to get out of tight tight spaces. Yeah. They don't they don't really hear you don't really see up. Well, in my team, I don't really see a player dribble unless it's really, really necessary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. A lot of persons, um, Tariq, have been saying that um, the U Pen team, the Cassio Pen team that you're in, they are they are not giving you a bus, um, so to speak. Can you tell us what is really happening at that team? Why you aren't getting a lot of minutes on their legs? Um. So I can tell you from what i've observed my observation i don't know mm-hmm. i might not be 100 percent correct mm-hmm. but it's what i see so i just think that um the system here mm-hmm. that my team how my team wants to play just doesn't suit how i play football right so my team is not like a gank or an underlet mm-hmm that has the ball most of the time, you know, keeping position, so you know that a certain player can can express themselves because their team always has the ball, so they can show what they can do, they can be creative or whatever. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Whereas my team now, we're more behind the ball and we're playing uh, more counter-attacking football. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I would, and I, me as a player, I like to have the ball. I like what, to play in a team that keeps possession of the ball. Mm-hmm. Like enjoy keeping the ball and those stuff. And I think, yeah, that's that's one of the main factors why I'm not really playing as much in my team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but as I said, there's a lot. There's a lot to learn, though. Yes. I still have a, and I still have a lot to learn. You know, I'm I'm not going to act or do like I I know everything. I have a lot of. Yeah, I might have quality. Obviously, I know I have quality, but there's so much more to the game. Yeah, that yeah, you know, yeah. There's so much more for me to learn as a player and as a person. You know, and my time here, I'm just trying to do that. You know, I'm, who knows the 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 things that they're doing here? Maybe. Um, I just need to add a couple of stuff to my game and maybe who knows I can play anywhere in the world, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so. But as I say, the world of football, you never really know, you know, because I can be here today not yeah. playing and whatever and boom, somebody see me wherever and the next day, the, the situation just changed completely. Right, right. Um, yeah. In terms of, 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 this is about a part of your game because many of the people who watch football here in jamaica they indicated that your 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 game in terms of the defensive aspect of your game is lacking you don't yeah. run back some people say that you're lazy you yeah. don't track back on all these things um or, or you're a one foot player um one foot thing can go work in a in a european team or over there in europe um you, you think that that those assertions are really true um i definitely think some of it is true mm-hmm. i'm a, i'm the me i'm the type of person i'm open i'm open to criticism you know i don't okay. really have a problem against it and, okay. I, and i feel like everyone has their opinion you know right right yeah but i think I, um like definitely definitely one i 100 agree that my defensive the defensive side of my game can be better mm-hmm. and it will be better as i said i'm still learning you know yeah yeah i'm still learning like when i was growing up in jamaica i didn't really have to defend you know it, i think like playing like how long i've been playing in jamaica didn't really prepare me well for the professional level i don't really want to blame jamaica you know yeah. but it's just the truth mm-hmm. i wasn't i wasn't well prepared and as i said i'm still learning i'm still trying my my best to get it up to where it should be and mm-hmm. Even I think even when I when whenever I fix that side of my game, there will still be another thing to say. Uh, yeah, that's you know, true. That's true. Is, you don't have the perfect player, you know. But as I said, I'm open to criticism, and I just try to to learn as even as much as possible from it. You know, because no, to... yeah, man, I, I like how you put it because sometimes some of the players, you know, they really get um, uh, what do you call it now? impacted by the, the, the criticism and it seems to me that yeah. you are one of them who will use the criticism to get better and improve your game and, and that i think that is a good trait because um like you said if you improve that aspect of your game there's gonna still be something that persons will talk about and it also yeah. pushes you to do more work on the pitch yeah. and that's that's just how you get better as a player and as a person you know Every time you master something, on to the next one. On to the, it's always on to the next one. You know, you, you cannot master something and then feel like, okay, I have this now, so I don't really need to do anything more. So even sometimes people criticizing it can be for your own good and you don't even realize it by taking realizing by taking it the wrong way. So I always I always if, if I see something where somebody is saying something about me, I always like try to understand what they're trying to say first before. Before you, you respond, yeah. that's true. So, so you basically do self inspection, self introspection to find out really if what 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 the people are saying is it true, and you try probably to observe your game and say, oh, you know that I need to work on that because yeah. that will help my game. So that that's 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 a really mature um outlook on it, um Tariq, um big up yourself on that. Now you made mention of the, of, of the Jamaica um system. So, mm-hmm. so, 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 you believe that the schoolboy system is not helping the players, even though it's one of the most popular leagues in Jamaica? Um, 
so as I say, I don't really, I don't know what what's happening now, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But as I, I can talk for myself, when yes. I was playing, tactically, I was, I was, I was doing nothing, basically, right? I was, I was when I when I when I left school, I went over to into the Premier League. Mm-hmm. It showed. It showed because right. so when Coach Bibi started to coach me, he was demanding a lot from me, you know. Mm-hmm. Was demanding and I and I like I was just not I was just not grasping what he was trying to say because I'm not used to it. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So when I was going to JC, I could just you know my no my 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 midfielders would tackle and get get the ball to me and then obviously I would do my thing. Mm-hmm. Right, but as they grow and as they you, you, you level up in 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 football, it's just always going to take more and more from you, right? Mm-hmm. And, and I just think I wasn't I wasn't well prepared. I was I was spoiled. I would say I was spoiled. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you have other players who do the dirty work, um, so to speak, and yeah. then you just express yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, there's a there's a question coming in or a comment yeah. that you should have tracked back, um, tracked that player to the byline in the 12 minutes versus beer shot as a sub with fresh leg. You remember that game? Yeah, I remember that game. So <laughs> it was me. It was me that lost. I got a ball, right? And I was mm-hmm. trying to play it off one time and I lost the ball. But as, 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 as I, when I lost it, mm-hmm. like I reacted in the right way. I, was, I, I sprinted back, but I didn't sprint back the sprint back 100 percent okay okay yeah so the player ended up getting across or whatever and the the um but but the defenders ended up clearing it or whatever but yeah, yeah. those little things count you know because right. they track back 100 percent block the ball and start over about the player or whatever from there okay yeah man so yeah. and 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 i'm i'm happy Tyreek, that you are expressing it this way that they, you see things in your game that need to improve so what 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 has changed for you since you have identified these things what have changed for you in terms of on the training pitch do you approach the training in a in a different manner do you approach it uh or do you have extra work that you do outside a training ses- um, session that will help you to improve the, the these aspects of your game yeah, um, I would say my whole my whole approach to football has changed since I've been here. You know? Um, like I really, you know, growing up in Jamaica, you don't really understand like how what football is nowadays, right? Mm-hmm. So when I get here you now, I'm obviously signed a professional contract. I'm here in a professional environment you now, so I'm, environment you now, so I'm seeing everything, right? Um, yeah, but. Me and yeah, but to the training question, I'm always training every I'm, I, whenever I get a day off or whatever, I'm always putting in extra work. Always, okay. and yeah, I don't know. I, I'm a, I just I, I think my whole mindset has changed yeah, for that's the better. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's good. Um, a, a question here, um, do when you're at, 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 at this European um, team that you base, Cassiopeia mm-hmm. right now, yeah. do they give the players a specific training in terms of doing interviews, media-related things? Um, or you just so, um, not no time for that. It's just strictly football. No man, you have days when time when you have days when people would come into the club and obviously go in the press room and they would ask for the players they want to interview or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or you would have days and like, um, say so you have a, you have a, I don't know if you know this thing, but you have a card. For, every player has a card, right? They have mm-hmm. a card like a FIFA card, right? So you would have some children that buy the card or whatever come into the club and you can sign it for them and whatever is speak with the camera people and and those little stuff. Okay, good. Um. We, we 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 noticed that Craig Butler is is dealing with your affairs right now. Um has that impacted your game in any way? Um so I had I had the opportunity to train with him mm-hmm. um when I was in Jamaica for for what a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think the the it's just this it, it wasn't really like doing much, you know, it was just like he wasn't 
he obviously knows what I can do already. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it was it was not so whenever we were training and stuff, he would say, Oh, all right. He knows that if I play with my left foot, then obviously the players they're not going to be able to 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 stop me or whatever. So whenever we were training, he would tell me, Okay, you can only use the right foot in training. So every time I touch the ball with my left foot, the next team get the ball and does like a little stuff on. We would do some shooting drills with like just to 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 get muscle memory in my in my right foot. Like mm-hmm. just get, getting used to like striking the ball in my right foot, passing the ball right. and those little stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, and, and and of course the training the trainings make it made me um, more comfortable playing on my right side. You know, I don't really think about okay, if somebody block here, you know, I can put the ball in my right foot and make a proper pass or whatever I need to do. Okay, great. Um, another question coming from the chat. Um, how is the experience playing with an enforcer? True, see them in Anthony Grant. Um, he's a top, 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 top professional. People know here what's top the man get. <laughs> yeah. He's a like outside of the picture, I don't really know him, you know, but like mm-hmm. Since he came and I had the chance to like see him playing and thing, obviously he's not a player like I would say like maybe speedy, mm-hmm. that's like technical and like to play, play, play. But yeah, but how he does his job is it's it's, it's so effective and it's it's just necessary. You can't really you can't really like even notice say oh, he's not really a player. He's just always in the game, mm-hmm. always in the game, whether with or without the ball. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, I just can only admire him. I don't have nothing but to say about him at all. Okay, cool. Uh you made mention um earlier about you pen not being a team that keeps the position of the ball. But mm-hmm. based on what we would have seen over the, the 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 period of Gold Cup and the start of the World Cup qualifiers, we realized that yeah. um the national team also is a team that not, um doesn't keep the ball well. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. you think that has impacted your game in any negative way as well? Um, no, I wouldn't say that. You know, because I, I would say like I feel personally that the the games that I played, mm-hmm. I, 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 I played what the two Costa Rica games there. Yeah, the first time in Costa, Rica, I played against Costa Rica in the Gold Cup, and then after in the mm-hmm. World Cup qualifiers. Right. Yeah, and I feel like I feel like those two games we, we kept the ball, you know, we had a lot of positions in position in those games, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like but I've, as as I, when whenever I'm playing, whenever I'm on the pitch, I would like encourage them and, and tell them that like we, we we can they're playing, they have good players, we have good players too. Mm-hmm. So we can play football. I I don't like to play and, and like another team is just controlling the game, no. Because there's a lot of too much qualities in the team for that. Right, right. Yeah. But I feel like the, the, the two games that the cost the two Costa Rica games I played, I think we we played well. We had a lot of position on the ball and thing. So. Right. Yeah, man. Cool. Yeah, you, you know what, Tariq, um initially when we spoke, and I want to get this in um out in the public. Initially when we spoke, we spoke about a possible move. Yeah. Uh yeah, um, if you can say it, if there's a possible move and the the destination, um, would you be privy to to, to state such thing? Because um, we have been hearing things floating that there might be a move for you, a loan move or a permanent move. Talk to us about that. Yes, yeah, so there's people like looking, speaking with other teams and stuff. Obviously, my club is my club is they understand my situation as well, you know. Because they are speak with the people here and thing and they respect it. So there's people still speaking and looking for the, the best, like the best mm-hmm. place for me. Right. Yeah, so but I can say there is it's a there's a lot of a, there's not really much negative, there's a lot of positive. So mm-hmm. yeah in a couple of months or so there should be something something good or if not maybe the next maybe the next summer or whatever but there's definitely conversations being held and things 
things. Okay. So, yeah. so so there's nothing that you can say right now. It's just conversations that are taking place. There are positive there conversations. Not really nothing I, I can say. I, don't, I just don't really want to say. No, yeah, that's what I, I mean. That's what I yeah. mean. You don't want to divulge it in the public. Uh, yeah. all, you, all you want to say right now is that there are positive conversations taking place. Yeah. And in a, in a matter of time before those positive um, conversation turn into something um, reality. You know what yeah. I mean? I understand it. I, we, we would want you to spill the beans if um, the beans yeah. are not supposed to be spilled as yet. Because, yeah. you know, you're a professional and these people want to ensure that things are, all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dot before, you know, making an announcement like this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. Um... Let me check if I, I can see any, any more questions from persons in the comments section here. Oh, Wait, only you can see the questions. I can't see. No, ma, you can't see the comment. Um, you see a little chat box there. Just hit the chat um chat box. Yeah. And you go over to comment and you see the comments coming in. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. I, I remember <laughs> I remember they interviewed um Ravel and Ravel said that you're like David Silva. Do you agree? Um, <laughs> David Silva is no, all right. So, obviously, people in Jamaica would say, Oh, Maggie, don't have that level there, or whatever. Ray, 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 you see me? Mm -hmm. But I feel like, all right, David Silva is a top, top player, big, big, big player in mm -hmm. the world of football, right? But how he plays, all right, I feel like I have more to me. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I can't, I, he's smooth and like to. No one twos get the ball around there, so pop it, pop it around the corner and play. But mm -hmm. I, I feel like I have, I have a lot more to my game than that. You know, I can do that, but I feel like I have a lot more in me. But obviously, to be, to be, to be, for someone to say that about, like, compare it to someone like David Silva is a, is a, is an honor, you know, because of yeah. what David Silva has done for football and whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, but. I feel like I have more to my game than than what a lot of people have seen so far. All right, and and of course, like you said, there 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 are more improvements to come where that is concerned. So we are expecting a a, a new and improved Maggi in the near future. Yeah. Um, you Kel Mullins is saying, what do you think is keeping you from the squad and the starting lineup for the Reggae Boys? I think you'd have answered that earlier, right? But if you want to go ahead again, um, so for the reggae, for the reggae boys, I don't, um, as I said, I don't know what the you don't know you you can never know what the coach has planned for the next game, you know. Mm -hmm. So you can play today and think that okay, I played well, so I should be in the next team, but maybe the coach has an as a as something else in mind, and and mm -hmm. you're not the player that suits that that plan or whatever, you know. So it's, it's football at the end of the day, you know, whatever decisions are made, you just have to respect it and just keep proving yourself. I just I think I just have to keep proving myself over and over and over until yeah. I finally maybe as as we would say, cement myself or whatever. And as I just have to keep improving my game too, because obviously I'm not a perfect player either. There's mm -hmm. obviously every see that there's stuff that still needs to be worked on. So I'm still working, so just yeah, man. Um, GS Parkinson, he did say that he is he's doing the necessary to improve that part of his game, his defensive aspect of his game. So he he is aware of that and he's working on it. You know what I mean? I just answering the ones that I believe that you would have answered that earlier. Yeah. All right. Um, Richard is saying that what is Tariq's priority now before and going forward? the club game or representing Jamaica? That's a question from Richard. Richard is from England. What is my priority now? Well, mm -hmm. Before and going forward. So I guess he's talking in the past and he's, has it changed? And is it basically playing club football or representing the national team? No, both. Both because obviously national team football doesn't play right through the year. Mm -hmm. So if if my priority if i okay if i said my priority is national team football then what am i going to do when national team football is not playing so obviously i need a club so i would say both man and 
obviously national team football only national team football is not going to take care of me and my family so right right yeah i have to be playing club football i have to be playing week in week out so that's my main focus right now just being able to play again and enjoy myself all right cool now this is coming from stacy air consultant over there in the us what do you tell young upcoming players that would like to play for jamaica um that, that, that i think uh, I've, I've heard this question a lot of times you know and it, it, it's not rocket science you know just keep believing in yourself keep working hard whenever you step on the pitch 100 percent every training session because you never know who's watching our every game mm-hmm. and just if you, if you tell yourself you're going to do something just know that don't let anything get in the way of you doing that right yeah so just believe in yourself 100 percent yeah man all right um football for from yard as uh coach theodore whitmore mentioned any specifics to you that you'd like for you to improve in terms of your game uh, have you had a one-on-one with the, with the coach um yeah i remember one 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 time one time we were it was at the gold cup but i can say i, I speak with paul more paul I, I speak with paul more so if he's asking about maybe another yeah i would say I speak with Paul all and more about my game and stuff, you know, I speak on mm-hmm. the phone whenever he sees me. He's always talking to me about football. He's someone that has a lot of time for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's always like, just this, again, the small details, you mm-hmm. know, um, how how I receive the ball and those stuff, you know, like how I, where I receive the ball and how I play the ball when I receive it there or whatever, you know, he's always like trying to tell me put yourself in the best position to turn and go forward right as an attacking as an attacking midfielder yes yeah, so i think that's that's and it's just yeah it's the next thing he said to me um he doesn't expect me to like chase down players and slide tackle them or whatever you know but just put myself in a position where i can press them and force them to speed up the ball and make a mistake or something you know because obviously I'm not a player that tack- is going to run down anybody like maybe Anthony Grant and slide tackle him or whatever mm-hmm. and take the ball. But it's just some um, the, the basics that needs to be fixed. He's always talking to me about. Yeah, man. Um, linking fans to football, big up yourself for that super chat. He's saying you should continue to stay humble and put in, in the work. Can't yeah, man. Respect yeah, man. for that, man. Definitely. All right. Let me check if I see any more... Um questions coming in for you and i'm uh question the, the, the questions are coming in quick and fast who do you enjoy playing with the most in the jamaican setup apart from speedy <laughs> <laughs> um Come at the first then way in the box. <laughs> yeah. yeah the first then definitely no yeah <laughs> Um, apart from Speedy, whoa. <laughs> um, so I would have to say I have I haven't played with Ravel much, but I played mm-hmm. with him the Saudi Arabia game for a couple of minutes. I enjoyed that. I, I, I connected with him a couple of times, but I also I like I like playing with taxi, you know. I like playing with taxi. Um taxi is just some I, I like something about taxi energy. Mm-hmm. And when he's give is I didn't and I didn't expect him to be so technical, you know. For a lot of people who doesn't know, Taxi is very, very technical. He's very good mm-hmm. with the ball. So sometimes me and him are always in competition and those stuff. Right. You know, but whenever I'm playing with Taxi too, he's always like, when he's giving it the ball, there's something about when he passes the ball. I'll say, you know, it makes you want to take the ball and do something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like playing. I enjoy playing with Taxi as well. Okay. Um. Per- some persons are saying... um. Jamaica doesn't have any world class player. Do you agree with that sort of question? That um... Def- definitely, I don't agree with that. Yeah, not at all. I think me personally, I think if Ravel wants, Ravel mm-hmm. can be one of the best in his position in the world. Yeah, if, yeah. but it's up to him if he wants to do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ravel has too much, too much, too much quality. Ravel doesn't know how much quality he has. 
<laughs> All right, so in the year that people and uh, so even even speedy to speedy speedy for me speedy shouldn't be playing in the USL. Yeah, speedy can play anywhere in the world, but yep. it's just a next thing that the next problem is chance. Who is going to give you that opportunity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but for me, speedy has everything to play wherever he wants. But but being in Europe for you though, Mag, um, Maggie, you're you're ensuring that you tie up your networks and linking who needs to be linked and you know getting to know people in the world of football yeah you're, yeah you're doing of that course just... of course i'm an open as you can see i'm a i'm an open person you know i'm mm -hmm. not someone that that like is stuck up or anything like that i'm always open for a conversation as long as i have time and yeah i'm, I'm open to meeting new people and because as I said, you never know what happens in life. You never know who can make something happen for you or who you can help in the future. So I'm always open. Yeah, man, definitely. All right. So somebody I try um bring back the hands at time. Can you he wants you to analyze your game versus USA? What he saw was that at times on the counter when there was space ahead of you, yeah. um, instead of driving into the space, you slow down the counter and turn back the ball. What you say about that? Um so I would have to definitely have to watch that back, but I would like to ask the person that back a question. I would like to ask them if like whenever I had when I had the ball and I had the opportunity to, to drive forward, as you said, if mm -hmm. there was like numbers, like I, if if there was my teammates ahead of me where I could okay drive and maybe play and connect with somebody or whatever. I don't I think if I had I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I knowing me if someone is if I had have teammates in front of me, I'm going to drive with the ball and try connect with them or try play the ball or something. But I don't know. Maybe maybe I need to like watch about the game and see. Okay, yeah, man, that's that's good. So um, somebody is saying Paul Hall is a true mentor. I it seems like seems you like being around and having coach Paul Hall. Is that true? Paul Hall is a general. Yeah, general. that's all I can say. General. People yeah. to hear that. Paul really, all is that general. Really, really general. That always doesn't say I'm always have my man him always a talk about football. Mm -hmm. Every every time him see me about football, never about nothing else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that's that's good. Football. And if you have a player, have a player, former player who is no coach, and definitely if you can pick his brain, you know, try to use him as a tool also to help improve a game nothing is wrong with of, that so of course yeah I man try to learn as much as possible from him of course um you know people wanted to know though you know when yeah. when in that costa rica game when coach whitmore took you on the sidelines and was gesticulating and tell you for some people want to know what the coach really did i tell you yeah um so obviously the first well, that was in the first half right yeah so I, started, I started the game slow so he was telling me because I was getting a bit frustrated, right? And mm -hmm. he, he saw that I was getting frustrated, so he said to me, um, "Don't, don't, don't, nobody pressure yourself, man. Don't rush the game. The game will come to you, mm -hmm. right? Yeah." And after that, it was a little bit before half time, and I went inside, analyzed that I was talking with myself, and I just felt like I was, I was, I was not doing me. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so second half, I just decided that uh, I'm going to play my game. I'm going to play what I know how to play, right? And yeah, I think I did that did well in the second half for the team. Yeah, somebody's asking. Um, I think you, you told us about um Sam Williams. He, he told us that in Belgium the football is played up uh, um quicker because of the surface and the players over there do the simpler things. He answered that question. Wayne is saying, big up coach, Maggie, stay humble um, and they like your vibe. So Wayne is saying that, him like you're humble. Well, most people are saying that, but me, I like what Wayne has said. And he likes your vibe. Yeah, yeah man. No respect, Wayne. Um, somebody is saying that um, you can also, um, a part of how to improve a game is to watch about the, um, the games. Yeah. And, and use it to improve those sort of games. But um, do you do those sort of work? At UPN yeah. or in the national team? Um, so even if, if obviously you don't you don't really need somebody to, 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 to be there when you're watching about the game, you know. So that's mm -hmm. all on you. So and obviously you know when you play good and when you when you make a mistake and when you should have do something. And if you don't know then the video is there, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, 
I would I always watch back the games, watch back myself especially. Sometimes I would like get the the, the highlights with just me alone mm-hmm, to see mm-hmm. the mistakes that I made and those little stuff. Yes, yeah, so I do. I do those work definitely. Yeah, man. So, Virgin, you know, um, any any more questions, people? Any more <laughs> questions? I see somebody question me. I try to go outside of those questions, you know, because. We now put ball up on a spot. Um, team, <laughs> if you team answer yeah. questions, I know me now do that, people. I won't do that. So, some of you, I might be ignoring your questions. Just understand. You understand? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm wanting to understand. <laughs> um, in terms of the the, 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 the the bond with the UK players, there, 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 there's a good thing going on in the team where that is concerned, right? Yeah, the, the man named from England. Cooler than everybody think, you know. The man, yeah. them cool and vibes, right? Mm-hmm. Everything, right? As, as we say, whenever, whenever, we go up a national team camp, it just the vibe they just different from anywhere else. So mm-hmm. play football. Yeah. So, All right. All right. Somebody asked one question. I know, you know. Warren Webster said, "How much does the footballers appreciate the publicity of the YouTubers, and do they take constructive criticism?" Um, so I can I can only talk for myself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know for another man, you know. But me, I don't have a problem with criticism. I'm I'm I feel like everyone has their opinion, everyone has their right to talk or whatever, you know. And me that I'm a person I like to listen to those stuff. Because mm-hmm. obviously everyone cannot be lying. If and obviously if you see everyone talking about the same thing, then something has to be wrong, right? Mm-hmm. So me personally, I don't have a problem with it. But even though I'm I'm not a person that sits and like watch YouTubers and what they say about the players or whatever, but mm-hmm. even if I do watch it, it's not like if someone is criticizing me, I'm going to take it to heart and say, yo, ooh, re, re, re. no. Some I'm a person like this. If someone is criticizing me, I just prove them wrong. Simple. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, do you have any any, any situation where the, 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 the language is a barrier to, to you being in, in Belgium? Or you learn um, a few words? Yeah, no, I, I know a lot of things in French, you know. I'm not I don't speak it fluent, but I learn mm. I, I know a lot of stuff in French. I can like have a conversation with someone, but mm. I don't speak fluent French, obviously. But no, the language barrier is definitely not a problem. Okay, but okay. even though I would rather be somewhere where it's English speaking, but the language barrier is not a problem for me. How about playing in, in the championship in England? I think that would be one of the things on the card. Even though of we course. know you don't want to talk about certain details, no. but playing the championship, of course, I would play in yeah. the championship 100%. The championship is still at a, a top league, you know, mm-hmm. the top, top league. After the championship, Premier League is right there. So if we can. I think if I, if I can play in the if I can dominate the championship, I can play in the Premier League. So yeah, I yeah. would definitely play in the championship. All right, Sam um, David Nicholson said, "What type of preparation does the team get in terms of analysis of the other teams before matches?" I think that that would be done by the the video analyst, or yeah. is it done um during team meeting or whatever? Yeah, so that the video analyst is normally in the team meeting, so he would mm-hmm. speak to us, he would like put up the, the videos and whatever, the pictures and show us like the strengths and weaknesses of the other team and stuff. And okay, okay. Yeah, how we need to, to to play against them and how we need to break them or whatever. Yeah. Um, let me see. We would like to know what's going on at his club. And oh, you just you just come road ball. Him answer that already. <laughs> Him answer that already. Let me see oh, the next up. thing. Everybody always. All right, but every for everybody for the last time. Find Madena the first team now. Must mm-hmm. must stop playing the um reserve team, from when from since the season since the new yeah the, the new season. season yeah man mm-hmm. so. I'm no longer reserve team player or whatever you would call it. So you hear that um 
Road ball. All right. Um, Lloyd O'Connor, big up yourself. Super chat again. Terry Maggi, the college flourish, and may you get a general move that will benefit your skills. Yeah, man. Um, will I get a general move that will benefit my skill? I hope so. As I said, there's conversations being mm-hmm. had, so I just have to keep my fingers crossed and and hope for the best one. Um, somebody's asking how committed are you to improving your game during this World Cup campaign? You would have answered that already. Same on work on in game him take criticism and, and work on, mm-hmm. on some stuff that he has to work on. Or you want to elaborate some more? Yes, really basically say it all, but as I said, I'm I'm always working and I've ne- I'm never satisfied. So mm-hmm. I don't know if that answers your question. But... And see people who believe that he's not hungry, they hear the baller say he's always working he's never satisfied because he's all about improving himself you know what i mean who's your favorite footballer locally for the national team and internationally locally as in players playing in jamaica yeah or just the national players them the national players them my favorite national team player mm-hmm. Whoa, i can have can i pick two <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Fine. Yeah, so my two favorite players in the national team is Speedy and Raphael. All right. Yeah. All right. And you know, you know, um, Speedy's game has improved, you know, from where I have seen him. You know, you know to be honest, I, I see everyone saying Speedy's game has improved, but for me, mm-hmm. Speedy was always good. But, but he, he never, probably never but, did that express himself. Yeah, but obviously playing, playing more and more over over a period of time your confidence will grow right so probably right. He might, if, if now he might express him he might do more than what he usually do right okay. so yeah but for me when must me usually train with him and think but him did always good okay good yeah. which, which which coach has had the greatest impact on your development coach baby definitely coach baby all right, big up yeah. to coach um God now wherever is that a, 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 a 98 um squad member who really, really you know man. yeah man went on to play some ball in England for Bolton yeah. so big up baby anyway the ball big up yourself um let me see if I can find any more question all right we never answer Maggie skill play but you need to hit the gym hard so you can protect the ball when you have it what do you say about that the, the, we know it, of course you can i don't know i'm 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 willing to do that well i'm i'm as i said i'm always working you know obviously i'm maybe i'm not a i don't appear like big and maybe bulky or something to somebody but mm-hmm. i don't i don't really see myself as a weak person you know as a weak yeah. player but if he says i need to do that then all right then no problem <laughs> somebody say when the team, when they live now pick, it should be you the magician and <laughs> any other ten. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Maggie, you see when we have a show up on weekend and the man yeah. when they come on to like games and we talk and the man the man say, Who's supposed to night? You have a bridge in the name, shut up. I don't understand. Oh, him they're the live now. Yeah. <laughs> the man say only you you and any other ten can work for him. <laughs> <laughs> when football now play, the man attack yeah, yeah, so he yeah, rate yeah. the man he rate you and yeah. there are a lot more people who who, who, who rate you for the, the talented player that you are and one yeah. thing I like about you know this conversation is that you're you're you you, you seem to be level headed and you're willing to to learn even from the outside because sometimes you know yeah. when 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 they the gravel goes into the sieve, you know. Remember, the sieve I go shake, you know, and it I go take out, take where it want. Yeah. So whatever it no want, I go stay in there and it does dump it, you yeah. know what I mean? So you yeah. can always take these sort of uh, uh, ideas, but it depends on what you want to 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 to, to stick and manifest. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah so. I just I just feel like not on not even only in football. I just feel like whenever you stop learning as a person, you stop growing. Yeah, definitely. So I just feel like. In life itself, you just have to try and take as much as possible as they can get from it, you know, because it's short. Yeah, man, that's that's absolutely true. Um, where do you see yourself shortly, possibly in the next year or so? Um, so obviously, I'm, I'm there for me. There's no limit to myself. So I see myself in the next what a year or a couple of years playing at the highest level. <laughs> hey. 
somebody I got asked about Anthony Grant again, you know. And mm. would, have, would have mind you give back the same response that you give it for you. <laughs> Andre H he said, Tyreek, what do you think about Grant? <laughs> As I said before, Grant is a top, 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 <laughs> be a top, one bag of top behind it. Yeah, that no top professional. Probably as as I said, he's not the player that is going to get the ball and maybe go by two player or whatever. But how he does his job is you, you, you rarely can find anyone that, that does it like him. You know, and it's and how the job he's doing is not easy because obviously you see it's one of my weaknesses. So I don't he's a, he's a top professional, that's all I can say about him. Yeah, man, definitely. Um, Paul Murray to say, I know, I know you that you'd rather be playing, but does being on the bench enable you to see and learn things that you might not when you're on the field? You know, that's a, a good question. Um, yeah, of course, man. Whenever you're on the bench, man, it's it's important for you to watch the game and watch, especially watch your person playing in your position. Your position, right? Yeah. So whenever you go there, like if they're making a mistake or whatever, you don't make the same mistake, right? So, yeah, whenever I'm on the bench, I'm always analyzing. I'm always and I'm always thinking about what I'm going to do whenever I go mm-hmm. on the field, right? Yeah, man. So, yeah, definitely. When you're on the bench, man, it allows you to to see a lot of stuff that you're not seeing when you're on the bench. All right, another one, Chevron Givens. I notice you drift wide a lot and i want to know if you prefer to stay wide knowing you're a 10 and shouldn't go wide so often and do you modify your style of play of any world-class footballer um so if I, would, I can answer the first question about me i don't really see myself drifting wide you know um, mm-hmm. obviously you can't you can't as an, as an attacking midfielder if you watch most of the attacking midfielders in the world now okay how does um De Bruyne get most of his assists assists He's, he breaks outside, then cross the ball in the box, and it's a goal. So how football plays now, you can't really like just feel like you're going to stay in the middle of the field and get the ball. And obviously, you have to find the, the like the pockets on the side of the midfield, right? So like the left side of the number six or the right side of the number six. You're not going to just stay like right in front of the number six and try to receive the ball. Obviously, you're going to tackle you. Mm-hmm. You, have to find, you have to find spaces for gear set of time. All right? If even if I see more wide, maybe I interchange with the winger, the winger go inside and I break outside. Mm-hmm. So, and do I do you modify your games? No, you, um, as I said, not really. Obviously, I, I watch a lot of um players and like try to get bits and pieces from their game, but I don't, I wouldn't say I modify my game from them. I just try to, to um like add their bits and pieces to my game, but still be myself. Yeah. All right. So Sonia Bowen is saying that um we should tell I should tell you that they are proud of you. All of yes. us. Yes, you know Sonia, I mean? thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man. Uh, um Maggie, my sister, you love oh Lord Ravel play. <laughs> no, Ravel, everybody know Ravel, nobody really need to explain nothing about Ravel. Ravel are general. <laughs> <laughs> A whole for Anthony Grand question are coming again, but you answered <laughs> them there. Really. From watching the ball as a midfielder, you have potential to be a future leader on any team. Or will you embrace this task in the future? Um, so I don't know if you know this, but I'm a I'm a I'm a well motivated person or whatever. So whatever team I'm playing in our, I would just I think let the players know that they, anything they want to do, anything they put their mind to towards they can do it you know because mm-hmm. i'm that type of person you know I, I, I don't i don't have any i've never limited anything that i'm into never ever you know i'm um, regardless of the opponent mm-hmm. or whatever obviously you can respect somebody what they have done but on the day if i'm playing against messi tomorrow obviously i respect messi but that's not going to change me from playing my game yeah yeah so, Absolutely. yeah so just those little things I think I would implement implement on whoever I'm playing with or whatever. All right, two questions because we have to run. We are on the hour, um one hour mark and we have to run. But two more questions. Um, somebody is asking, what was it like? How you got the news that you were being upgraded from the reserve to the um 
first team um, for you then. So, so what was your so, reaction? Um <laughs> I didn't really have a reaction, you know, because obviously I knew I wasn't a, a, a reserve team player or whatever. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I know I had the quality to be playing in. I just feel like I, I, I can play anywhere in the world, any team in the world. So I just, I didn't really have a reaction. And, and it was, I would, they just messaged me, you know, and say, um, you're back with the first team you now. Because I, when I signed, I was with the first team and mm-hmm. the coach that was here. The coach that came, he didn't obviously didn't have any plans for me or whatever. So I started playing and more and more with the reserve until I just like ended up there for one full one full season. And then after that, they, they messaged me and said, "All right, preseason start this day or whatever with the first team." Yeah, man. Um, finally, I'm not sure if it is final, 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 but <laughs> um, how do you see the chance? of the team coming up in these two fixtures with the players that were selected? Um, no, there's there's so much quality in the in the team that's mm-hmm. going to play the two games now. I think they can do whatever they want to do. If they want to win the two games, they will win the two games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, and I hope that's what they do. You know, because yes. obviously that increases the chances of us going to the World Cup and I want the team to go to the World Cup, so I just hope they win the two games. Yeah, man. Awesome. Um, anything that you want to share before we run? The last <laughs> final thoughts. Because I really appreciate you coming on. I wish you could have um, stayed a little longer, but you know, <laughs> duty call sometime for me. And yeah. uh, definitely we have to invite you back over in a Terry. Yeah, probably on one of the triple treat night, and I would just sit down and talk. But but before you, you give that final point, yeah. persons really want to know which one of the YouTube show they may watch. I got show that um, here. <laughs> as I said before, I don't really watch, but I think one time I, I think when when the time when Ravel when Ravel spoke about me the first the first time, mm-hmm. um, what's his name? That's real um, channel sport, five. Sport, no, I went on the channel sports sports DTM. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, sports yeah. Down the middle, yeah. I think I watched that a couple of times, but it's a long time ago. I don't really watch it a lot, to be honest. I don't really watch a YouTube channel a lot. Yeah, 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 man. No, but, no problem, man. But, but there's always it. there's always people like sharing sharing it to me or whatever. But whenever I, I would click on something or whatever, it would be finished or whatever. Mm-hmm. Sorry, don't, don't, don't watch me. Yeah, man, no problem, man. Um, share your final thoughts before we run out at all. Um, <laughs> um, so I would just like to, to let anyone know that if uh, obviously I'm disappointed for not going with the team or whatever, but it's not the end of the road for me, mm-hmm. you know. It's just another, I would say, like a bump in the road or whatever, but there's so much more to, to come from me, man. And, to any aspiring footballer or whatever out there, never limit yourself and just believe in believe in yourself one hundred percent. And whenever you get the, the chance to go on the field and train, give it give it a one hundred percent because there's a lot of people that want to, to play football and they're not able to play football, right? Mm-hmm. So just know that everyone that's uh, that's able to play football and they're healthy and whatever, just know that it's a privilege, man, and just treat it that way. Yeah, just, definitely. Yeah, just enjoy every moment of it. Yeah, Tyreek, we really appreciate you stopping by um over here. As they call it, the Tyreek, the magician, Maggie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Big up yourself. We really appreciate it. And we know the sky's the limit for you. We're going to be watching the space to see uh, which one of those top clubs that you'll be moving to. And definitely, we, the fans here in Jamaica, will be supporting you wholeheartedly. Wherever you go, whether you, you 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 get picked to the national team or not, we'll be supporting you all day, every day. So big up yourself, stay safe, and just continue to work hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. No respect. All right, peace out. So people, there you have it, Tyree Baggy. Yeah, man. The ball had just passed you. Uh, we did not forget him to find, see his reaction. Um, on 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 his non-inclusion. Um. I, I kind of get some 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 heads up, but more and do some more investigation and a little story there first before 
me put out anything, you know, because we have to be responsible at the same time. So uh, basically that 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 that's what um I and you know people we don't want to ask him certain questions on here you know, because we don't want him to be victimized if he answer it in a in a particular way. You know what I mean? So persons who throw the questions pertaining to certain things that I ignored, I deliberately ignored it because I would not want to implicate the youngster. You understand? Didn't want to implicate the youngster because you know sometimes people hear a thing and they don't understand the context and run back. You know what I mean? But you know we have to protect the ball the same way I'm young and we have to protect um, how we go about doing this as well. So big up yourself people. I appreciate you stopping by. I don't know a thing or we have to end the show because as I said before, we have other things to go and take care of. And we are putting the work, you know, so we can get in at the stadium as well as media. So we can, you know, give you the coverage because we want to get, we want to get the gaffer, you know, tapper. Yeah, man, we want to get tougher on the show, man. Know yourself, people. We are, we are work. You see what I say? And big up to all the other um all the other YouTubers out there are putting the word Guna, Sports DTM, Formula, Ryan LFC, um Reggae Boy Commentary. Um who else may I leave out? Um Primo Vision, Manning's Man with I am sure sports. Um who else? You know, tell me now. Me don't want to leave out nobody, you know. And then you hear say coach, you know, this and coach, you know, that. Who else may I leave out? Um, Half Time TV and the beautiful Crystal. Yeah, man. Big up to Crystal. I max it at the thing to big up yourself. Um, <laughs> Where's the Rob Smith? Um, turn off the comment section on top of come. <laughs> yeah, would have to turn off the, 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 the comment section for real. <laughs> yeah, man. But well, we are work, people. We are, we are, we are work. We are trying. Yeah, man. A crystal named Talawa, man. A she, the, when we say the beautiful crystal, a Talawa may attack. And big up my brother, same way, Rome. Big up yourself, Rome. Wherever you are right now, big up yourself. Um, big up Flair family, the Flair family. Want to check out the Flair family? Check out um, facing reality, people. Check out Tamara's recipe. Yeah, check check out authentic vibes to people. Yeah, man, just check out all them th all them channel. Dre anywhere. Oh, if you forget Dre, big up yourself, Chelsea boss. <laughs> Dre anywhere. Yeah, man, congrats to Dre again on his is 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 one thousand subscribe and him start shoot out already yeah man big up to all the wonderful folks in and around jamaica overseas that are doing their thing to ensure that the people them get the information on what is happening with the football um i i can i can i can just add this to it for persons who are interested in 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 getting um the the, the tickets for the game you go onto the website all right, let me see if I can't show it right now. No, I can't show it right now. Oh, I suppose so. You mean I can't show it? Let me do this. Um, a matter of fact, I'm going to do another show on it tomorrow. Let me do a show on that um, for, for tomorrow. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do. Uh, 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 I'm gonna do a show. I'm gonna do a little. Um, how you go about doing it, so you can get it. But one, yeah, I'll be doing a show on that. So don't worry yourself. I'll, I'll, I'll drop that in the morning for you to see how to get onto the. Um, um how to get onto the to, to to the site and sort out the tickets. All right, big up yourself again, people. Like I normally say, stay safe. And until next time, peace out. You know what I mean? Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that.